Hey friends, it's Suzanne Mosley with Esperm Books and More. You can find me on Facebook at Suzanne Shares Esperm Books. You can find me on YouTube at the same spot. So today I wanted to feature some of Esperm Books and More's art books. I love these. Um, I do classical conversations um, as a homeschooling mama and we do art in the realm of fine arts and I wanted to show some of the ones that I enjoy using as a CC mom but they are also pertinent and glorious and amazing for anyone who wants to do more art study with their kiddos. Um, so first up I wanted to show you our step-by-step -step drawing book. This series there are four. There's a uh, step-by-step -step drawing book, drawing people, drawing animals, and drawing dinosaurs. In CC, we learn oils as the basic structures uh, for drawing, the basic grammar of drawing. And when I tutored foundations, I do essentials now, but um, I loved using the this book to come up with different things for us to draw to practice oils. And even if you don't see, do CC, this is one of my all-time favorite series because it takes um, the picture and it breaks it down into a step-by-step -step process. And this was truly empowering for my boys um, who went from, I can't draw that, to following the steps and saying, Mom, look what I drew. So this is an incredible, incredible series. And if you are a CC Foundation student or CC family, these are great for practicing oils at your house. And then another thing that we do um, during fine arts is famous artists. I love these famous painting cards. There are 50. They're only $9.99. They have 50 famous paintings. And what I like about them it shows you information on the back. It gives you the title of the piece of art, who painted it, when it was painted, where it's uh, made, where you can see it now. And then there's some, I mean, CC, we talk about attending. There's some things listed that you can attend to with your child as you look at the piece of art. Um, look for God's pink cloak which is the same shape as a brain. Some people think Michelangelo intended it to be a symbol of God's mind, okay? So it shows you, here's some of the Ophelia, uh, a bar at Felice Berger, uh, girl with a pearl earring, very famous, um, here's one, um, maids of honor. This is Kandinsky. Rembrandt that we study um, in CC as well. This is my son's favorite, The Great Wave. So these are an excellent way to introduce your children to some of the famous paintings um, throughout art history and as well as uh, a famous artist and who, um, and some other background information about those. So I love um, those famous painting Set. This is a brand new book. It came out in January 2020, How Art Works. What I like about this, if you are a CC tutor, CC mom, it covers uh, many of the concepts that we talk about uh, when we are doing fine arts. Um, it talks about, oh, it's so cool, I remember when we do famous artists and we make, um, I think it's Giotto, we make our own paint with egg yolks. It talks about, it talks about that in here, how they use many different types of of um, ingredients to make paint throughout art history. It also talks about horizon line and vanishing point. It talks about pop art. This was so cool because I remember um, doing this. It, um, and it has many. Uh, Rembrandt is in here who is one of the um, artists we do in cycle two. It talks about art movements like um, impressionism. Ah, where is that so cool? Ah, yes. It talks about um, pop art and Liechtenstein, which we do in cycle three. There are so many things as I was looking through this. I'm like, oh, 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 we talk about that. We talk about that in um, fine arts uh, with famous artists. So I love this new title from Esporn Books and More. And then this is another great one um, to introduce famous artists. It's Art Treasury. You'll notice this uh, Starry Night by Van Gogh. It's so cool because it shows you, it introduces a famous artist and uh, one of their famous pieces. This is um, some of the most treasured pieces. And then it walks you through how to make a similar, uh, that's Matisse, there's Monet. Many of these are artists that we study on Degas with the um, um, 
the famous dancers. And then it walks you through how to do a project. Oh, I love Jackson Pollock with a splatter paint. So it's such a cool way to introduce them to a famous artist by also letting them do a project similar um, to what that artist is famous for. And then just a couple of others. Um, this is a very basic with the flat art book. It, it has some very basic information about art and the color wheel, abstract art, um, different techniques that were used. It is lift the flat. I thought this was cool. It um, shows how um, Van Gogh painted. There's a self-portrait and he painted this painting out over it probably because he didn't have enough money to buy another canvas. So that's another just good basic primer introduction to art and this is just a really fun, the complete book of art and ideas. It does not talk about famous artists at all but it just gives you, a, it's a great, it's three books in one, different um, art mediums to try. It walks you and your child step by step through how to use those like pastel, how to, how to create a resist, um, and then different projects that you can make as well. So if you have a child that loves to explore and experiment with different art mediums, this is a great one as well. So I hope that was helpful for those of you who do classical conversations um, with fine arts, or also those of you who just love art. Some great resources from Us Born Books and More. Thanks, friends. If you have any questions, um, feel free to contact me. I'd love to talk to you about CC or about art. Um, these art books, you can contact me through Facebook, Suzanne Shears Esporn Books, or on my website, SuzanneShearsEsporn Books.com. Thanks, friends.